Here at Skillcapped, we work hard making sure you know what classes are the best for PvP. But this got us thinking, maybe being the best isn't really that fun. I mean, what type of person would want to be a defensive cooldown bot for their team every game? Oh, <laughs> awkward. No offense, warriors. Anyway, today we're here to tell you what classes are actually fun to play in WoW PvP. We spoke to our pro players who have years of experience in Arena, and they gave us the inside scoop on what melee ranged and healers you should play if fun is your goal in Shadowlands Season 2. Before we get into it, we have two huge disclaimers. Being fun doesn't necessarily mean being good, and vice versa, but we tried to include classes that are both fun and viable for competition. And remember that this is purely subjective. Some people view fun as winning, others don't. We tried to include a balance of both here. Starting things off, we have three fun melee classes that you should pick up this season. If you have never played Rogue, it's probably one of the best PvP experiences you can have. All three specs feel really unique in multiple areas of the game. Assassination is incredibly fun in 2v2, where it has some of the highest damage in the bracket. This spec requires both buff and debuff maintenance and CC planning, meaning you always have a global to press and it feels like you are constantly working towards your kill. Subtlety has been considered one of the quintessential PvP specs for over a decade, and for good reason. It's the ultimate damage support class, and through their control, sub rogues are able to elevate their team's offensive toolkit. Sub is the reason why RMP has been one of the most dominant comps this entire expansion. Rogues are the star of the show. When played well, they enable their team to win the game instantly, and because of its depth, the spec feels really rewarding. And outside of arenas, we should add that Rogue is really fun in RBGs, where it plays a crucial role on every map. Rogues can ninja bases, lead offensive pushes, and defend when needed. All in all, you will never be bored playing a Rogue. You have access to three interesting specs and are viable in every part of the game. Moving on, we have Windwalker Monk, and yes, we know what some of you are saying. Of course Windwalker is fun when it can absolutely obliterate someone like this. So yes, we would all agree that Windwalker damage is broken right now, but outside of its broken damage, the class is really interesting to play. Its mastery encourages you to press a different ability every global. Combine this with unique control options and some of the best melee mobility, there's no way you will ever be bored in Arena. Even running away feels fun on a monk. You can zoom across the map while rolling, serpent kicking, and porting, allowing you to outsmart the dumb opponents chasing you. Rounding out our melee, we have Survival Hunter, but specifically in 2v2. The 2v2 bracket is controlled by a few different melee classes, all fighting for dominance, and according to some people, Survival might actually be top dog. At first, the spec might seem a bit overwhelming. It has a bunch of damage buttons, including some dots, a spammable raptor strike, and some fillers. But once you master the rotation, you can do some incredible DPS. Combine this with some of the best mobility in the game as a melee and ranged hybrid DPS, and you have the makings for a really powerful melee spec, especially in 2v2, where you have almost unlimited freedom and are able to reliably CC healers by yourself. By now, you might have your own opinions, and we want to hear them. Let us know in the comments below what classes you think are the most fun to play in WoW PvP. Let's move on to Range DPS, where things get a bit interesting. Just like Sub Rogue, Shadow Priests are a damage assist class. They elevate the toolkit of their team with their array of utility and unique control options, including a one-of-a-kind CC setup with their Stun Silence combo. This really makes you the star of the show in Arena, and even though Shadow is vulnerable to getting trained, so is every other caster in the game. But with consistently high DPS when left alone and the ability to mash Dispel when interrupted, Shadow is far more seamless compared to other casters. Okay, we might offend people with our next pick, but hear us out. Beast Mastery Hunter also lands on our list of fun range DPS. To address the elephant in the room, yes, BM is OP, and yes, it might be a bit easy to play, but that's exactly what makes it so fun. You don't have to think too much about your rotation. You just pump damage all game while running around the map doing whatever you want. The enemy wants to run away, no problem. Just send your Ferrari speed zombie pet at them and nobody can truly escape your damage. Last on our list of ranged DPS, we have Balanced Druid. Look, Boomkins have been pretty consistent on the A tier during tier list updates, but there is one huge reason you might want to pick one up. It's their role in RBGs. Balanced Druids are kings. They can do everything. Want a ninja a base? You can do it. Want to pad damage in mid? That's easy. Your team needs an emergency flag carrier? You're the guy. Outside of RBGs, though, Balance is just okay. Not the best caster in arenas, but certainly far from the worst. Starbursts and Convoke can lead to some interesting kills, though, which can help offset the feeling of getting trained for 11 games straight. 
Before we tell you about healers in 9.1, and regardless, if you want to have fun, you surely have some rating goals this season, and we got you covered over at skillcap.com. Our videos are designed by pro players and are proven to increase your skill and knowledge in PvP. In fact, over half a million players just like you have used our website and have seen lasting rating gains. We're so confident in your success that we offer a money back guarantee if you don't see the results you are expecting. With prices as low as $4.99 a month, you have absolutely nothing to lose. Don't miss out. Join today and become part of the best PvP learning experience of all time. Let's finish things off by going over three healers that are actually pretty fun to play. Resto Druids is unquestionably one of the most fun experiences you can have on a healer. Out of all the pro players we questioned for this list, Druid came up consistently for healers. The majority of its fun comes from two things, mobility and maintenance. You are the most mobile healer by far, allowing you to avoid annoying situations that cause other healers to get punished. On top of that, healing primarily with HOTS feels really fun because it rewards you for sticking your rotation. If you heal well, your partners will be immortal. Finally, 2v2 is where Resto Druids really shine. With the ability to play aggressive in cat form and feral affinity, the spec becomes entirely different. You become the sub rogue and shadow priest of healers, and with your control, you can play a unique role in many 2v2 matchups. Dwayne the Rock Johnson is also a really fun class to play right now. Oh, oops, we meant Resto Shamans. Jokes aside, shamans are a fun healer because there is simply so much you can do. People mistakenly think that shaman has a low skill cap. They say you never need to cast, just use riptide, but the class has way more depth than that. With a wide variety of cooldowns to rotate through, hots and dots to maintain, multiple damage globals, and the ability to offensively purge, there is always a global to press, and the challenge is figuring out what button is optimal. Of all the healers, Shaman might actually be the hardest spec to play perfect, and with a few viable comps in both 2v2 and 3v3, there's no way you will ever be bored. Finally, rounding out our list for fun healers, we have both priest specs. In the healing world, there is a lot of envy, and with access to both RMP and jungle cleave, all the other healers envy priests in 3v3. These comps need priests because of how well they fit into the setup-based archetype. Compositions that rely on really precise CC timing and damage coordination always feel fun because it gives you moments of excitement, and it feels like you're building towards a win. In 2v2, both priest specs are able to make the most out of their damage toolkit, and when played with classes with tons of control, they play an integral role in kill setups with mechanics like mind games, chastise, and psychic scream. And that wraps up our list for fun classes to play in Shadowlands Season 2. Maybe you have some thoughts of your own, so let us know what they are in the comments below. And be sure to check out skillcap.com for all your PvP needs. We know that losing over and over is not fun at all, but we can help you out. Our guides will show you proven winning strategies so you can actually have fun while playing your class. As always though, thanks for watching, see you soon.